Hello again there folks, Cat here. Last time, we made it to Spurge City. That's really about it. Don't really know what to do. I think we have to go... Casino, earn big bucks! Did I go through the casino? Heard that you can win rare candies with this, but of course I have bad luck. Hey, so do I. 24x on the first try! Go me! Yeah, you win that shit. This row is the classic card game. Classic card game, like poker? Blackjack! Get as close to 21 as you can. If you go over, you lose. Yeah, I know how blackjack works. I bet 100 and had a good hand, doubled down, then lost. Oh well, I'll try again. Yeah, that's how gambling works. Clunk clunk. Sell you a coin for us. Just need a thousand in return. Deal? Sure. Thought so. Sure, why not? I might do that on my own time. Fuck around here. I know in the new games they took it out. Took out the game corners because they're teaching gambling to children. Why aren't these deuces wild? Video poker. 10 coins per try! If I keep playing these slot games, it's gonna take me forever to win TM33 Snow Punch for my snow run. Hey, I have a snow run. These are slot machines. I'm sure- I sure hope you know how these work by now. Kind of. Welcome to the game corner. Do you need some coins? It costs a thousand for fifty. Do you want some? I don't have that. I'll fuck around with this later, I guess. Where's the- I'm just curious on what they have for, like, prizes. Hey, prize lady, what do you got? Welcome! We exchange coins for fabulous prizes. Kangaskhan, Eevee, and Porygon. I haven't used a Kangaskhan, either. Welcome! Exchange blah blah blah. I don't remember what any of these are. I just know that one is a uh, ice punch, because that one lady said it. Okay, well... I'll deal with this place maybe sometime. I don't know. I just remember the gym leader is not here, so we probably have to go looking for them. Which is always fun. I think I talked to you, flower person. Okay, so there's nothing over here. North! Who's up front? Chili boy. Okay. I'm ready for a real battle! Are you a sailor? That's what I thought. Well, good thing you know, bite, chili boy. Chomp on it. Nom nom. Don't you dare poison me. You motherfucker, what did I just say? God damn it, I have the worst fucking luck with status effects. Bubble's not gonna do jack. Oh. Chomp chomp, whatever, you're dead. Fuck you. Can I level up? Yeah. I don't know when you evolve. Probably like 30 something. Whalmer. Yeah. Let's just throw a floop at it. Oh my god, that was adorable. The little bubbles. I know Whalemur is a beefy son of a bitch. Okay. That's that's about right. Whalemurs are pretty tanky. Good job, Floof. Oh damn. Low tad. I don't think I have anything that would be super effective against you. I don't have any flying or bug moves, so I can just keep loot out, I guess. I also haven't ever used a Ludicolo. I'm sure that sometime. How much is that gonna do? Not that much, at least. 
We should be able to kill it. Oh, please don't die. God damn it. Fuck you! Bullshit! Fuck this low tab. Get out of my way! Ass. Bruh! I'm used to, um, because this is a crystal ROM hack, I'm so used to, like, expecting it to go by old rules, and I'm pretty sure with old rules, if your Pokemon was fainted at the level that it was supposed to evolve, it didn't. I think, I can't say for sure, but I think that's how it was. I just know in this, poison doesn't, like, kill your Pokemon, which is nice. It just gets it to, like, 1 HP and then it's done. It's... Fuck. I wanted to see what was in the grass. Oh, take a look at your Pokemon party. I wanted to fucking look at- I wanted to look at the Pokemon of the grass. Bing. You should be able to kick this thing's ass. Chomp, chomp. There's an airplane. Kadabra. Just gonna keep you out. Kadabras can't take physical hits for shit. You should know confusion. Why aren't you using it? Whatever. Good job, Chili Boy. Chili Boy's trying to learn protect. He protect, he attack, but most importantly. Fuck spite, I'm never gonna use it. Okay. I'm actually gonna look up really quick levels that people evolve at. Well, Chili Boy is gonna be uh, difficult because he doesn't evolve until 42. Boring is 33. Biddy's only 18, so Biddy will evolve soon. And Janet is at 30. So it's gonna be a while. What? Is it in the grass? Doot doot! It's an not to. I really need to change my party. Cause you don't need more stuff right now. Oh, that was a weird sound. Burr, burr. Okay. What else is in the grass? Here, P. I'm also, in my free time, playing uh, Let's Go Eevee, because, I don't know, reasons, so I can say I've played them, um, and I am using a Beedrill, and I intend to take it to the end, because I never fucking did that. You twat! I'm sure if I use Tackle on you, you'll die! Get in the ball! I also want to play through, uh, Sword again. For funsies. My roommate has Sword and Shield, and I got to play both, and it was fucking awesome. Y'all can say whatever you want. I like, uh, Galar and Sword and Shield. I like Gen 8. Crawls into foliage, where it camouflages itself among leaves that are the same color as its body. No. No nickname for you. I unfortunately do not intend on using you, little friend. Uh, 
the video. Fuck. How cute are your Pokemon? Show me! I got some cute ones. I got a... Hi. What do you got? I like Jigglypuff. I'm using a Wigglytuff in, um... Let's go, Eevee. Oh god, you're, you're high level. Eat dick. I was not aware you were three levels ahead of me. That's not cool. What? What? I don't understand. Why is it not effective? Oh, don't you start that bullshit. I will fucking destroy you. No! Not the rollout! Come on! I don't know why water is not working. Because you are a normal fairy. So... I should be able to kick your ass. Water should not be... Uneffective against you. Bitty. Bullshit that this fucking Jigglypuff wakes up so fast. Bullshit, I say. This fucking Jigglypuff. What is- what is going on? I do not understand what is happening. Why is- Why? I don't understand. Why is rock ineffective against you? God damn it. This fucking jigglypuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. You better be able to kill this fucking thing. I- I am so confused. If somebody understands what the fuck is happening, please explain this to me. I don't mind losing, really. Oh my god. Yeah, I looked it up. Fairy does not resist water or rock, so I do not understand what's happening. I don't have cut, do I? Oh, this can be cut. Sure can. Oh, that's a Baneri. I think I've used a Baneri before. What the fuck was her name? No, it was a- it was a male. I don't remember what its name was. No, it was a female. Its name was Rico, that's right. Cause, um, it was named after a character I have that, uh... She's rather tittylicious. I have a lot of fucking characters that I make and they're not necessarily for anything, they're just... They just kind of exist. I need to write stories for them and I'm bad at actually writing the stories that I start. Fuck you! Don't be a dick! Yeah, you keep doing that. Come on. Yeah, you identify me, that's cool. Probably not gonna name you either, because I don't intend on using the Baneri. Affection Pokemon are also a pain in the ass. I don't- that's part of my issue with a lot of baby Pokemon is just the affection thing. It's a pain in the ass, it's kind of annoying. I used a, uh, Frostmuth in... Shield. I used a Frostmuth in Shield, but that was only because it was a shiny. The amount of shinies I have caught, in-game, and random encounter, because I'm not going to do that shiny hunting hatch a thousand eggs bullshit, have probably been less than five. My first shiny came in Pokemon Black, and it was a pit of. Haha, <laughs> time to show off my Pikachu. Yay. Sounds like a job for Janet. And the mistake that I made with my pit of, I did use it because 
you know, you have to use it because it's a shiny. Um, I named, at the time, I'm a former pharmacy tech, so I had to take some anatomy and, like, the medical terms and bullshit. I named my pit of Pyo. P-Y-O. Do you want to know what the problem with that is? Pyo, exactly spelt that way, is the prefix to describe something that is pus. I named my shiny pit of pus. I did not know that at the time. This was also... Oh god. 2010? 2000, no, 2011 or 2012? Somewhere around there. A while ago. Yay! Good job, Betty. Feh! Well, feh at you two. Who else needs to do What's the sign say? There's a thing. Heath Village, Laurel City. I can't get to Laurel City. So I guess we're going to Heath Village. Boo! Sweet son of stupid. Is there anything on this rock? Nope. No hidden items, I guess. It's a puppy. Uh, let's see if I can catch you. Lasers. I'm also using a nine tails and um let's go Eevee. Cause I'm kinda forcing myself to use stone evolutions because I fucking avoid them. Oh fuck you! Fucking growl. Piece of shit. Probably gonna Oh fuck. Oh, great! It's you! I heard all about what you did from that annoying pink patroller. You have no right to mess with my group like that. Guess I'll just have to teach you a lesson or two. Cool, it's red. Hey, Power Ranger, how's it going? Woof. Just gonna smokescreen you a few times. Cause fuck you. Maybe three times? Ow. Ow. Wow. Are we good? Are you gonna kick my ass still? Yeah, you are. Well. I guess I should have healed because I wasn't expecting to suddenly get in a fight. Rocks! Oh, good job, Janet. You said fuck that girl, didn't you? Oh, damn. Goldeen. That's a job for Floof. I've never used a Goldeen or a Sea King. There's a lot of the fish Pokemon I haven't used either. Doesn't this just- no, it only helps, like, thunder be more effective. Whatever, I'm still gonna kill your stupid fish. Whoosh. Good for you. Dead fish. Good job, Floof. And the Eevee. I wanna throw Janet out because I want to... Hopefully this thing doesn't know fucking double kick because that'll suck balls if it does. Yeah, no more rain. Oh my god, no! I forgot about this bullshit! Fuck! How long is this gonna take? don't want the rain, they want the sandstorm. Because I can still kill you with the sandstorm. Bitch. Ow. 
Ow. I'll just, if I have to fucking chip damage you, I will. Why do you know growth? You're not a plant. Stop using growth, it's weird. I know what you're trying to do. Haha, uh -huh, bitch. Well, that was useless. Doing more of this, because fuck you, that's why. Like I said, if I have to chip damage you to death, I will. I get it, you're trying to get your attack up high enough to where your quick attack will kill me. I don't think you're gonna have time for that, because I'm also going to do... a this. Okay, well, I didn't need to do it, because I'm pretty sure you're dead. Chip damage. Good job, Janet. Janet is trying to learn focus energy. Do I have anything I want to get rid of for that? I'm gonna get rid of Scratch. I'm never gonna use it again anyway. Fuck Scratch. What is it with everyone? I was once one of the greatest trainers in the world, beaten by a mere child. No matter, I have plans that'll make everything in Naljo right again. You got lucky this time, but I'll be back. Count on it. Do I have to? I don't like you. None of us do. Just make everything in the world right and surrender. No. Eat my dick. Hey, I need to talk to you. Please keep quiet about me ignoring the battle. Huh? Why didn't I stop Mr. Spandex when that you fought? He yelled at me when I called his outfit Spandex. My hurt feelings made me decide to take a break. If you keep quiet, I'll give you this nifty HM. Oh, there's cut. HM1 is cut. You'll be able to clear small bushes blocking your way, such as the bush on the east of here. You'll need the nature badge in order to get to it, though. Nature badge, I assume, is grass. Oh, it's Violet City. I... No, this isn't Violet City, is it? This is Zalia, I think. Rest house. Heath Village holds rich traditions. People these days don't appreciate their legs enough. I can tell by your shoes that you've taken many steps. It's nice knowing that people still use their our feet. As a token of gratitude, you can have this bicycle. Boop, 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 boop. Probably won't use it. Thanks, dude. I guess. Just randomly like, hey, I see you walk a lot. Have a bike. You're interesting. Oh, no, you're not. Inside is a small shrine dedicated to the guardians of Naljo. Residents visit da daily in hopes that they will awaken and watch over us once more. Where's your Pokemon Center? Do you have one? I enjoy this village's traditions. It's a nice change of pace from the modernization that plagues society. Okay, hey, hipster. There's nothing over here. Is the rest house basically your Pokemon Center? Clunk, clunk. This village is purely family-run. It only consists of family members and have stayed that way for centuries now. My cousin Rinji often takes our children into his forest to become Pokemon trainers. My grandmother manages the rooms in this very inn, and my brother runs the shop. Cool. Welcome, how may I help you? Okay. This is mining pick. I don't think I really need- I'm gonna get a couple of these. Do I have anything that is worth selling? No. It doesn't let me sell fucking TMs and that kinda sucks. Where's your grandma? Oh, there she is. 
Oh dear, you and your Pokemon look tired. I will let you- Oh my god, I have to pay for it. Am I being murdered? Welcome back, I hope you enjoyed your stay. Sounded like I was being fucking chopped to death. I assume that was supposed to be snoring, but Jesus Christ. I was being butchered. What was this? Hey, dude. What? Oh, I was dozing off for too long. As an apology, how's this TM? Is it Dream Eater? Or rest? Sleep talk. Your Pokemon will use a random attack while it's sleeping. I remember sleep talk. Sleep talk's weird. Hi, dude. The legends have awoken! I can't wait to be alive while experiencing the vision of our guardians. Which is? This is supposed to be a shrine? Centuries ago, Naljo was nothing but ocean. During the Great Wars, Great Wars, the legends created new isolated islands free of wars and every where everyone would be able to live in peace. Veronius and the others came from around the world to build our home and protect us from outsiders. Pokemon and people lived in peace and harmony for centuries until a deranged man stole their orbs. The orbs were their so the source of their powers. Without the orbs, the guardians fell into a deep sleep. They continue to sleep up to this very day. With the region unprotected, people around the world moved into our region and began tearing down the nature that the guardians created in order to build cities and towns. They bring the many stresses and complications of the modern world over to us. Many Naljo natives welcome outsiders with open arms, but there are some who dedicate their lives to seeking out the lost orbs. If an orb is returned to a guardian, it will awaken. Our guardians will be able to preserve our culture and protect us from outsiders once again. Okay. Is, uh, is that what the evil Power Rangers are trying to do? They're looking for the orbs to awaken the guardians. Kick my ass out because I'm not a native. I don't know where the fuck I came from. Well, I think I'm gonna call that here. Might do a little bit of grinding. Like, subscribe, and all that noise. And I'll see you in the next one, folks. Later.